Okay, fight fans and fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. Okay, first up, as usual, congratulations are due. Congratulations, Floyd Mayweather. 50th career win, beating an amateur after two years off. Hell, he even made it go all the way to the 10th round. I wonder if that's the round Floyd betted on. Well, anyway, now that the circus is over, we're going to be able to concentrate on other things, which is what I'm most happy about. As far as the other congratulations go, congratulations Badu Jack. Big step up and he made it look easy. Congratulations. Not too crazy about you trying to sidestep Elidor Alvarez, but Adonis Stevenson is definitely a prize worth talking about. Here's hoping you do get a shot against Elidor or Adonis, but only after they fought. Next, Tabidi Cunningham. Uh, fantastic fight, the NABF USBA cruiserweight title was on the line. I think Cunningham's best days are behind him. Here's looking forward to maybe him retiring. I don't want to see him get in the ring again, to be honest. Uh, Ugas Delorme, what a hell of a fight. Ugas got up from the deck in order to win that bad boy. If you get a chance, watch the replay of Ugas Delorme. That was a solid fight. More congratulations, Miguel Cotto. Wow, what a beautiful fight. Uh, Kamen Guy. I was saying his name wrong last week. Kamen Guy's opponent was just a uh, zombie. And to tell the truth, he looks so happy to have gone 12 rounds with Miguel Cotto. I kind of felt for him. But I've never seen so many movie stunt punches in my life. Kamen Guy was going to the left and to the right. I get that, you know, the announcers were trying to say that he was slipping them a bit, but... It's a very strange way to slip him, and it's a very dangerous way. Uh, also, props to Hugo Centennial, the boss. Beautiful, beautiful hook on his part. Also, quick congratulations, LeBron Mitchell, 16-0, 14 KOs, and now the NABF heavyweight champ. Now, as far as the news is concerned, make sure to check out thefightcity.com on the daily. We got great articles and posts for you guys to check out. Check out the YouTube channel. Check us out on social media as well. We're all over the place. Uh, News-wise, we got a, quite a few things going on. Like I mentioned before, Badu trying to slip his way in between Elidor Alvarez and Adonis. Not too happy about that. But when Al Heyman's involved and TMT's involved, I get nervous. And to be honest, I haven't been upset with Al Heyman ever. In the three years that I've done this show, I've been one of his biggest fans. But this would really break my heart if Elidor Alvarez would have to wait again for what is rightfully his. Now speaking of waiting again and Al Heyman, uh, Al Heyman did actually make an appearance this week. He was seen on camera, on video camera no less, hugging Floyd Mayweather after Floyd Mayweather won his fight. Uh, that's newsworthy, I guess. But more importantly comes some sad news for me. Bermain Stavern's gonna step aside and let Luis Ortiz fight Deontay Wilder November 11th. They're gonna give him Dominic Brazil and it's gonna be winner versus winner, supposedly. I'm a little upset because Bermain's been waiting. He avoided all kinds of fights in order to wait for this fight. I really felt that it was a matter of principle for him and I was hoping he was gonna make a point out of beating Deontay Wilder like he should have the first time. Dominic Brazil's good, I guess, but you and me both know Stavern's gonna walk through him. And I kinda wanted Stavern to be the one to put away Deontay Wilder. Cause God knows King Kong Ortiz is going to put him to sleep. He is going to be dust. We are never going to be talking about Deontay Wilder in 2018, mark my words. If that fight with King Kong Ortiz goes down, it's over for DW. Now as far as what we can watch this weekend, we've got some fights to watch. Not as much as last weekend, but don't be afraid, we've got some terrific fights nonetheless. Tuesday, you got UFC Contender. 
And then Friday, you finally get your Invicta pay-per-view. You also get a free LA Fight Club from Golden Boy Boxing. That's going to be probably on the Fight Network, so make sure to check that out. Saturday morning, we got one championship again, going down from Asia. And then, later on at night from the Netherlands, live and free, UFC Fight Night 115 is going down. Still plenty of fights for us to watch. I really hope some of you check out my Mayweather-McGregor video. I really hope you guys check out my public service announcement that I put out afterwards. Like, share, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys next week.